Lee. <laughs> this is our chance. This is our chance. Florence? When you Ashley Barrett, the Vought CEO only in name, has made a fairly tough decision to stay back. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Here's your spoiler warning. Anyway, so Ashley Barrett has made a tough decision to stay back at Vought despite knowing that she might just get lasered or torn apart by Homelander. How did it all come to this? Why did she not escape her possibly grim predicament with A-Train when she had a chance? Well, that's what we're here to discuss. The Boys director Catriona McKenzie explained a reason in a recent interview, and it mostly revolves around the grave that Ashley has dug for herself in all these years at Vought. But before I dive deeper into it, I think it is more prudent if I quickly run you through the events that led up to this. So, in the seventh episode of the fourth season, Ashley first gets kicked out when Homelander confronts Sage about her mess at Tech Knight's mansion. Anyway, Ashley soon loses all her already dwindling confidence and hope only to get shit drunk at like 11 in the morning. A-Train confronts her about this and she tells him that she is broken about having to let her assistant go. A-Train asks her to hold herself together because both their lives depended on her and she could not just go around Vaught Tower blabbering about whatever happened. You see, she was actually more distraught about being responsible for the death of her sub, Cameron Coleman. He was not the mole and paid a price for it anyway. Later in the episode, A-Train along with M.M. saves Annie and Butcher from the Deep and Black Noir who were working at the behest of Homelander. This naturally meant that A-Train's secret was out in the open, so he rushes back to Ashley and asks her to leave with him, but she refuses. Oh, and she had previously asked him to leave with her, a request that he had denied. Anyway, Ashley refuses to run for the hills with A-Train, but she does remind A-Train to remove the tracking chip, so it seems that we've got a very un unlikely alliance between these two and it all started at Homelander's apartment. But the million dollar question is, why did Ashley refuse to leave Vought? Okay, maybe it's not a million dollar question, but it is still pretty important. Director McKenzie, in an interview with Screen Rant, said that Ashley is just in too deep with Homelander and Vought. And that makes total sense. I mean, much like Butcher, Ashley has made her bed so vast and so deep that it is now next to impossible to leave everything behind. She just has to lay in it and wait for the end, whatever it might be. In a moment of weakness and under the influence of alcohol, she does think about leaving the giant cluster duck behind her, but when she really thinks about it and when the real opportunity presents itself, she fails to do it. One can't say for sure, not even Miss McKenzie, if Ashley is choosing to stay back for greed and ambition, but whatever the reason, this toxic waste dump is what she calls home. And no matter how bad, we tend to stick to what's familiar. It takes years for us to let go of familiarity even when our own well-being is at stake. And that's what makes Ashley relatable. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Ashley wants her powers back. You see, Ashley was pretty much replaced by Sister Sage. Ashley remained the CEO but had no real influence or authority while Sister Sage played the de facto leader of Vought right after Homelander, who himself was taking suggestions from Sage. However, Sage tells Homelander that she knew all along about A-Train being the mole, but chose to keep it a secret because she had a greater use for him. Sage tells Homelander that she was using A-Train as the most efficient misinformation delivery system and yet Yes, it's pretty much on point. She was giving A-Train just enough information to make the boys reach exactly where she wanted them. Let's take the seventh episode, for instance. I mean, why did she have to meet such an important person as the president's would-be assassin in broad daylight in the middle of the street, and that too in her costume, unless she wanted to be seen? Oh yeah, she was meeting with a shapeshifter, who in all probability is the one who would take a shot at President Singer. I believe the shapeshifter would try to kill Singer as Starlight, putting the blame on Starlighters and ensuring that all the Starlighters are considered traitors or terrorists, which in turn would allow Homelander to easily fill all his dissidents into concentration camps thanks to Tech Knight's prison. Now to ensure that Starlight is portrayed as an assassin, she has to be taken out of the picture. How do you do that? Well, by kidnapping Starlight. You can't just kill her because she is ultimately Starlight, not easy to kill, and it was Sage who sent the boys after the shapeshifter by feeding information to A-Train. Now that's a masterstroke. When Sage got Starlight where she wanted her to be, she presumably got her captured. But I digress. The point is, Homelander gets furious because his authority was undermined once again when Sage kept the A-Train secret from him. So he fires her. Now he's surrounded by psychopaths and bimbos like Firecracker, 
her to deep end black nowhere. I guess this is where Ashley will come in and try to take back what was hers. Some degree of power and authority, it is also possible that she stands her ground when Homelander suggests something really silly. Think about it, Ashley used to work for someone like Madeline Stilwell, who not only ran Vought but also controlled the world's most powerful man-child, the Homelander. And someone like Stilwell won't hire just about anybody. Ashley has it totally in her to run Vought, but her only flaw is that she gives in to Homelander easily. She has seen the things he can do and is petrified of him, but now might be her chance to grow that spine back. Kennedy. Ashley. Yes, sir. Get out. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Loyalty to Homelander means it's nearly impossible to de fact and live. Ashley wrote this whole resignation letter in one of the episodes after she decided to quit for good, but instead of giving it to Homelander, she instead chose to shred it. She saw what happened to Annika, the crime analyst, and did not want herself in Homelander's bad books. She has pledged her loyalty to him and would be a yes woman to him when he is around, but she does not know what he would do if he got furious at the thought of her leaving the company in his employment. Homelander did not waste a second to decide that Coleman and Webweaver presumed moles were to be cancelled. For now, it is wiser for her to stay at Vought because no one directly suspects her of any wrongdoing. They all think she's just a scaredy little kitten who plucks her hair and struggles with heels. It is wise to find the right opportunity to either escape or strike. Ashley has accepted her fate. She really has accepted her fate of Vought. I mean, the woman possibly has nowhere else to run. I mean, where would she go if Homelander decides to hunt her down? Hell, she does not even have any superpowers. At least, it makes sense for A-Train to escape because he can run faster than Homelander can fly. It's not much, but it still is something. But Ashley, she's defenseless. However, she may now want to form an alliance with the boys. This is the perfect opportunity for her to lead a coup against Homelander since he is at his weakest and lowliest. I'm sure that the majority of people working for Vought hate Homelander. Yes, they are terrified of him, and that's what's keeping them loyal to him. But with a little push, all that can change. It reminds me of something that Amon said in the House of the Dragons about, well, dragons. He says that dragons would not win the war. Wars are won by armies, with dragons flying behind them. That's why Homelander is trying to get himself an army of followers because they will do his bidding. Homelander might be the dragon of the boys, but he is not enough. Likewise, if Ashley manages to get enough support from her folks, they might just be able to do some pretty serious damage. I'm not talking about physical damage. Homelander thrives on the desire to be loved, appreciated, and respected. You take that away from him and he will do reckless things. There's this demon from Hindu mythology called Basmasura, who somewhat matches Homelander. In Hinduism, Basmasura is a demon who was granted the power to burn up and immediately turn into ashes anyone whose head he touched with his hand. The Asura was tricked by the Hindu god Vishnu's only female avatar, the Enchantress Mohini, to turn himself into ashes. Now, I'm not saying that Ashley will be the Enchantress, but she could pave the way for Homelander to spell his own doom. What are your thoughts on this? Will A-Train come for her rescue? Ashley and Homelander have been working together at Vought for a long time now. But as things get shaky, this marriage of convenience might not last. After the whole fight at the Flatteron building, aka the boys' headquarters, A-Train shows some real concern for Ashley. She turned him down, seemingly resigned to face whatever comes next. It looks like Ashley might just be inspired a bit by that Che Guevara rebel spirit, and is gearing up to take a stand against the chaos, even if it means putting herself at risk. And by by risk, I mean the fatal kind. As Homelander's authority, friends, and power seems to be on the decline, Ashley just becomes a valuable player at Vought, but she might put herself in danger only to be saved by A-Train, who has recently stepped into the role of a genuine hero. Whether Ashley can truly turn the tables or if A-Train will swoop in to save the day remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, Ashley isn't planning on being anyone's victim any longer. It's totally do or die for her. Can Ashley redeem herself? Ashley started off in the inner circle at Vought. She's had a front row seat to the company's darkest deeds and hasn't exactly been an innocent bystander. As Vought's puppet CEO, she's had to play along with some pretty nasty stuff, even if she is not the one getting her hands dirty. Over the seasons, Ashley's grip and power has dwindled to practically nothing, leaving her to navigate the treacherous waters of Vought politics and Homelander's increasingly erratic behavior. In season four, we see her cracking a bit, like when she sneakily rebels by 
by using Homelander's private bathroom, a small act of defiance but a telling one. I mean, Homelander would be furious if he found out she did what she did. She is now at a crossroads, continuously pushed around by Homelander, she might just hit her breaking point and turn against him, especially if it means saving her own skin. But don't hold your breath for a fairy tale ending for Ashley, her past decisions don't exactly paint her as a hero. Having said that, if A-Train could get a redemption arc as well as forgiveness from Huey for murdering his girlfriend, Ashley sure has more rights to her own redemption arc. If you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.